We're gonna be draining this pool today. It has a safety cover. So drop the water down as far as you can. Here we got a heater. It looks like a Pentair heater. Variable speed pump. Got a salt system up there. It's the Hayward salt system. Stay right sand filter. There's the salt cell right here. So right now we're just dropping the water. I'm just putting on backwash for now. And I have a, luckily I have a main drain that goes to the front and a skimmer. Most people just have the skimmer. The skimmer is almost down to where it's just sucking air. So I'm gonna turn off the skimmer and I'm just gonna suck in from the main drain. I'm gonna lower it down below the skimmer. Once you get it below the skimmer, where it's not going back in. I'll show you the next step. Just take off all the jets. Put in your duck plug. When you blow out the lines, if you see any bubbles coming out here or here, just redo the Teflon tape and put it back on. Because we're not dropping the water too far down, what I do is just if you have this type of light, I just undo it a bit. Just that if ice gets behind there, it's not breaking off those two tabs there. If you want to weigh down the light, just get a container. It doesn't have to be like this, but anything, any weight. Usually people put rocks in the bottom and the string. And then we're going to tie it on the neck of the wire. Just like that. Take your basket out, all your jets, put in the basket for storage. That weir, the flap, it's called a weir. We're going to take that off. There's a little tab most of the time. Sometimes they don't have it. Sometimes you have to get a screwdriver in there and pop it off. But throw that in the basket also. Um. If you have a timer, make sure the timer's off and the breaker's off to the timer. Turn off all the breakers, anything to do with the pool. Same as with the heater, because we don't want to blow the lines and the heater turns on. So we're gonna turn it off at the heater and we're gonna turn the breaker off. Gas line, that's on, we want it off. Gas is off, make sure, I know we turn off the breaker. Just gotta check it, make sure everything's off. If you don't have the digital one, you'll have a switch. Make sure the switch is off. Pump is off. If you have a salt cell, make sure it's off. And the power for this one here, it's just a plug. Unplug that. Blow the main drain, if you have one, and the skimmer first. So you to open this up and take the basket out. Remove both plugs. There's going to be two plugs. There's two on the other opposite side of this for the Pentair. Basket out, your two plugs you just took off the pump, put them in the basket. Drain plug, if you have a sand filter or a cartridge filter, take the plug off. Try to blow it in from this way. There's so many different setups blowing it out that you have to figure out your own way of blowing it out. We're gonna do the main drain first, shut off the skimmer. So all the pressure will go to the main drain. And as you're blowing it out, it should look like this. If it doesn't look like this, then your blower is not strong enough and you're not getting all the water out. While the pump's running like that, run it for about three minutes and then turn off your main drain while it's on. is it keeps the air the pressure and air pocket way down so the water that's in further down in the ground it's not going to freeze it's not going to come back up because we stopped that pressure there's nowhere for the air to be pushed out as long as your bell valve is working you're not going to get water all the way up next we're going to open up the skimmer and we're going to blow up the skimmer the same way Yeah. 
if you have a hard time blowing out the skimmer, try turning off the blower, wait till it stops, and then turn it back on. You'll get that you'll get that extra pressure to push out a lot of the water. Do that a few times and see if that works for you. After you're done blowing out all the water, the gizmo I'm going to use is just a standard gizmo. Uh, my other videos will show one with a hole. We could have done it on this pool because it's a newer pool, so I didn't have to drop the water because we're going to put a safety cover on. But I just wanted to show you how to do this type of skimmer and this type of gizmo. So we have a two inch opening on the bottom. A lot of pools are an inch and a half. So your gizmo comes two inch, inch and a half. So we're gonna put a little bit more Teflon tape on this and we're gonna screw it in there. Before we screw it in, take some antifreeze. Now this is a big jug, so if you have a smaller jug, use half of it. Just pour it in. It goes into lines, just in case it leaks. Tape up your gizmo a little bit better, better Teflon tape than that, and screw it in there snug. I put it on there by accident. So there's my two inch I'm gonna use. So just snug. Take some other antifreeze. And we're just gonna fill up the bottom a little bit. That's it for the skimmer. And you just put the lid on it. We're done the main drain and we're done the skimmer. If you have a side suction, you're gonna have to blow that out too. So for the re for the return side, most of the time I try to disconnect it just after the pump, the discharge. But if I follow this, I don't want to cut it anywhere. It does, it, I'm not going to have any water sitting in there. So all the water is going to come out of here. And it's going to go down here and it's going to drain out the pump. So this here goes down, across, and into the dial head. Most of the time, the dial head you have to turn to recirculate or whirlpool. It depends on what type of filter you have. It's going to say recirculate or whirlpool. But that's only if you're going to go through here. If I had it cut here and I was going to blow out this way, and in here, I'll turn it to whirlpool or recirculate. But for this pool here, I'm going to disconnect it coming out. So this is coming in from the pump. This is, it says return. It says it right on here. So I'm going to disconnect here. So it's going to go down. It goes through the heater outside. It's going to come back out of the heater. It's going to go through a check valve out through the salt system down into two different jets. So where it splits off like that, one goes to one jet, one goes to the other jet the top one coming in from the top of the pump to the filter I just disconnect just in case there's a little bit of water in here there wasn't too much it's dripping out right now you always put that back together after just let some of the water drip out of it and then put this back I've disconnected this to put my hose to this side and we're gonna tape it up right now Got my hose for for the blower now if this is your pool you don't have to tape it up each year I would rig up something better maybe a union you already have a hose for your spot, have a hose and then have a union where you could screw this on to this part, a little easier. We're gonna turn on the blower and we're gonna blow out the return lines. Jet blowing out good, but we have the other jet. It's not blowing out yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to force the water to go get pushed over there. So we're going to block this one off. Just put your hand in front of it. For about five minutes or so, once it's running all good, like it's blowing out pretty good, all the jets. Whatever heater you have, you have to do the drain plugs on the side. If you have a pressure switch, make sure that you undo the pressure switch. Mostly that's in Hayward heaters. Most heaters have a pressure switch, but you can't get to them all. But if you blow the lines long enough, long enough, it should be okay. You might have, you know, two on one side and then one. The Pentair has one right on the bottom. So as it's blowing out, it's right on the bottom here. It's not going to be a big plug like this. It's going to be a little plug.
because the check valve is preventing the blower from blowing out all the water, I'm going to disconnect that check valve. It's just not getting blown out. I'm just going to remove the whole check valve. And then we'll blow out that, and then we'll blow out this way back to the jets again. So if this was your pool, every year you're going to have to do the same thing, take this off and blow it out properly. There was no water in there, so we're going to go up and out to the jets again. Do that for a few minutes, connect this. So I'm going to have to hold it there, blow the lines out for a bit. After you're done blowing out the return lines, make sure your cap for the duct plug goes back on. This pushes in. The brand new ones are a little tougher. And if the water's cold. If you have a backwash, solid backwash, meaning that if it goes out and it goes underground, you're gonna have to blow it out. You just have the rollout one, just disconnect it. You don't have to blow with anything. Make sure your top dial, you turn it to closed. Drain plugs off. Take pressure gauge off. If you have a sight glass, take it off. See if there's a gasket inside. Take the basket into your pump. Then close it back up. Your basket from the pool side, put it in anywhere in the pump house. We're done on the equipment side. Now it's time, whatever winter cover you have, you can put it on now.